Princess Anastasia and Prince Charming. Good morning! Father! Ah! Father! What are you doing? Well, it is morning. I thought to ask if you were able to make time for meeting the princes who are so eager to meet with you. Maybe you will meet your Prince Charming. Oh, uh, Father! I don't need anybody! And Prince Charming is an old concept, Father. I am fine on my own. Wait, it's not even morning yet. That is not possible. I have always woken up in the wee hours. Maybe the sun is late today. The sun is late? Princess Anastasia, or our Super Asia, was the vigilante of Tangzonga. Along with helping the needy, Princess Anastasia was also discovering herself. You, you can manipulate fire? What? Every stressed situation gives us an opportunity to discover a strength in us. Anna, you are discovering your power. What is happening? Well, there is no sunrise today. We are well past our lunch, and it looks like it's still night. Anastasia was really worried this time. How could the sun not rise? But there was another pressing issue at hand. The crime will be at rise in the dark. Leave that to me. For several hours, Super Asia protected not only hers, but the neighboring kingdoms from the lurking crime. <laughs> I cannot find my home. Hey, honey bun. Whee! Oh, my baby. I told you not to go out in the dark. Thank you, Super Asia. What do we do? We are getting weak and irritable without the sun. We are all feeling weak and tired. Don't worry, we are working on it. Till then, keep your children and animals safe and stay indoors. We trust you. Anna, is everything all right? I don't know what's happening to me. I am scared. Everybody is counting on me, and I don't even know where to begin. Anna, situations like this provide chances for us to be stronger and more focused. What do you mean? Nature is clearly out of balance. Every living being on this planet needs the sun. Soon, everybody in Tangzonga will begin to fall sick. This is not the time to doubt yourself, Anna. This is the time to regain your focus and stand by faith everybody has in you. You are right. I need to first understand why the sun isn't rising. I must return to the land of councils. Thank you for once again being my guiding light. Good luck, kid. Super Asia, you are here. We knew you would come. Oh no, are you all right? We are getting weaker due to lack of sunlight. You are stronger, Anastasia, but soon even you will grow weaker. We need your help. 
anesthesia, the pillars of the sky are damaged. The what of the what? Our planet is protected by a layer which is held by pillars of the sky. The damage to the pillars has caused for the cosmic shadow to enter the rupture and is now slowly covering our planet. Cutting trees and forests has caused this damage. If we don't repair it, the shadow will cover the entire planet and our planet will perish. Wait, so the sun is just blocked by the shadow? This seems easy. Not quite. We have prepared a potion to repair the layers, but we don't know how many pillars are damaged. Use it wisely, Anna. I will deal with this problem at once. I will not let your faith down. I keep telling you, sire, we must be more concerned about our trees. It is true. <sighs> Anastasia, you must leave immediately. I am aware about these pillars. You must go north. Take care, my child. Anastasia was accompanied by her most trusted soldiers after crossing the mountains and the seas. Wait, what is that noise? Your Highness, I believe that the neighboring village needs our help. But we must reach the north in time. We cannot ignore a cry for help. The darkness might be used by thieves. They must be stopped. I didn't know Super Asia attacks innocence. Of course not. You were sneaking around. Yeah, that's because I was plotting against the thieves who are taking advantage of the darkness and stealing from houses. Oh. Anyway, we're getting late. We're on our way to North to repair, repair the, the pillars, pillars of, of the, the sky. sky. How do you know about it? Well, Tangzonga is not the only kingdom who knows their stuff. In fact, we're in this issue because of your kingdom. That's not true. Right. With all due respect, your highness and your majesty, both of you are heading towards the same destination. Does it matter how we reached here? Hmm, good to know someone's thinking smart. <sighs> He's so irritating, but you are right. We need all the help we can get. It was a treacherous path ahead. But Eric and Anastasia were determined to reach the end. But as the journey progressed, King Eric realized that he was growing fonder of Super Asia. Huh? Princess, you must rest. Anna, is everything all right? There are no stars. We never realized how our actions were affecting the planet, did we? We are fighting to save our planet. Why is that making you smile? Because I am fighting to save our planet, with you by my side. What? Oh, oh look at that, a crow. Crow? Huh? Hmm, looks like the horses must stay down here. And you sure you would be able to manage super...
What? Hiya! What happened, Your Majesty? Are your knees hurting? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hiya! <sighs> Once they reached the top, they could not believe what they saw. This is way worse than we imagined. But not impossible to mend. Your Highness, we are only six of us, but it seems at least 12 pillars are damaged. Without wasting a minute. Well, if, if I, I am not wrong, wrong we, we are 12, 12 of us now. The potion was shared among all, and everybody ran to hold one pillar. As they went on applying the potion, they saw that the terror in the lair was healing, and the shadow was being squeezed out. But then... No! The potion! It's not enough! No! It's breaking again! Hold on to your pillar! Don't let go! The pillars have not healed completely. Even if one of us lets go, it shall fall again! No! What do I do? Situations like these provide chances for us to be stronger and more focused. Come on, Anna. You must keep calm and focus. And it worked. Anastasia opened her eyes and hot laser passed through her eyes to the point where the pillar was getting damaged again. And the pillar healed. As all of them looked up, they saw that the shadow had left the protective layer of the planet completely. <laughs> Is it the sun I feel? Well, it's either that or a huge lamp up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am glad you were by my side, King. What? Oh, Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Tangzanga welcomed Super Asia and their soldiers with a grand celebration. I knew you could do it. Not without your guidance. Anastasia introduced King Eric to her father and Machiko. We may have won the battle, Father, but the war remains. That's true. The pillars are healed temporarily, but we need to rethink our actions on this planet. I agree. I've heard great things about the Coastal Palms Kingdom. You have a very good reputation of planting trees every chance you get. We must pay a visit someday and learn from you. You are most welcome to our humble home, King Reuben. Anastasia and Eric began their project of planting trees. Soon the hills, plains, were full of saplings. It was a new journey for the planet. And for our Super Asia too, who had finally found her prince, er, er King Charming. Uh... Cheating! Ah. 